Hello! In this video, we'll continue building the login system. In the last video, we created the Cognito user pool to store our user accounts and a lambda function to add users to the pool. Now we'll create another lambda function to confirm the account. Log into your AWS console and search for lambda in the search bar. Click on Lambda in the menu. Create a new function. Give the Lambda a name like Confirm Account. Then set the runtime to Node.js. Click Create Function to complete the process. Now open the AWS SDK documentation for Cognito Identity Provider. Search for Confirm Signup command and hit Enter a couple of times. You should see the link to the command. Click on it. Copy the import statement and paste it at the top of the Lambda function. Now go back to the documentation and copy the rest. Paste the whole thing in the handler function. For the client, replace config with a pair of curly brackets and put region, colon, and the region you are in. Now delete everything in the input except for the required ones. The client ID is for the Cognito User Pool App Client ID. To get it for the one that was created earlier, search for Cognito in the search bar at the top. Right click on it in the menu and open in a new tab. Select the user pool. Go to App Integration and scroll down to the App Client section. Select the App Client and use the App Client ID in the Lambda function. For the username, type event followed by square brackets and username inside them. The confirmation code will be the same but with confirmation code. Save the code and deploy it. To test this, click on the arrow next to the test button and select configure test event. Give the event a name like confirmation test. Then edit the JSON by setting the first property to username. Followed by the email that was used when you created an account. For the next property, replace it with confirmation code. Followed by an empty string. Save and go back to Cognito. Select your user pool, click on the Users tab, select the user account, and delete it. Then go back to the Create Account Lambda. Click Test to create the account. You should receive an email with the confirmation code. Now go back to the Confirm Account Lambda and edit the test configuration by setting the confirmation code with the code you received. 
save and click on test. You can see that we successfully confirmed the account since the status code is 200. If we go back to the user's tab incognito, we should see that the email is verified and the confirmation status is confirmed. That's all for this video. In the next video, we'll create the Lambda function for signing in. If you find this helpful, give the video a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel.